Hello, all my beautiful mystic friends. Welcome to your weekend reading for Friday, the 28th of August to Sunday, the 31st of August. So here we are at the very end. And we will be using this beautiful deck here. Uh, it is called Mystic Mondays. And if you'd like to know the names of any of the decks, you can look below and you'll see in the description I've got the names and authors of the decks. And this deck and the rest of them have been specially picked just for their ability to help bringing in the energy of affirmation to help us to manifest and bring back positive energy after we've been experiencing whatever setbacks through the day to help us to continue to manifest our best possible life now. So, with that being said, if you'd like a private reading, please go to my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your reading. If you go to that website, you'll notice that there is another button on the right for membership. If you'd like to be a Mystic Tribe member, you can join. There's the two things. You can click the learn more and it'll or find out more and it'll take you to give you the explanations. And for those of you who have Apple products and don't see the join button down below, that's also part of the membership is right here in the middle. It says subscribe and join. If you don't see that, then go to my website and you can find out more about the memberships. I'll be more than happy to have you. Please subscribe if you haven't. I'm so close to 100,000 um, followers. I would be so happy to reach that. So thank you in advance for your help. Let's get into the reading. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. And that went crazy. <laughs> divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed reading. Well, we've got our cards. I think we have an extra. Yeah, we have four cards. So we've got a four card energy. We'll take them all. And see what they do. The last few days have been very positive. And we're starting off with a dump truck load of blessings here, so <laughs> that's always, you know it's going to be hectic, but it's going to be good. Oh, nice. We have a timekeeper, the Three of Swords. Three days, three weeks, three months, third time's a charm. We have Good Fortune as our top card here on our beautiful Law of Attraction deck. The universe provides me and my family with prospects for good fortune. So it's, it's a say it. Say it and agree and bring it in, right? Worthiness. I feel worthy and have very special talents that will help me to achieve my dreams. This is something that can lie dormant until you actually get close enough to whatever it is that you are supposed to be uh, doing in this lifetime. Um, one, mine was uh, tarot. <laughs> I, uh, I, I just, you know, I, I didn't have a vision for it until it's, I got close enough to it and started really doing it again. Uh, so we have compromise. Sometimes we have to allow ourselves to, um, find the, the path of least resistance, right? Um, and, Trying to take something and force it is never a good idea. So compromise is, is always a, if, if it's a win-win, it's always a better energy than if someone tries to force their will. So I'm a Libra, so compromise is part of my natural uh, uh, <laughs> makeup. I like it to be balanced. Ooh! The magical donut. I love this. <laughs> I know donuts aren't good for us now in COVID because they're not good at any time. But COVID makes you really want to eat a whole bunch of them, a whole box of donuts. 
And uh, this is the only safe one there is, guys. <laughs> the others, the others just put on that COVID, COVID extra hunker down weight. So prosperity, the frequency of prosperity supports our feeling of well-being by allowing us the inclusion of everything that makes our body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit sing. It invites us to express ourselves in joy and celebration of the abundance and riches that the universe provides. So, party in advance. <laughs> I like to dance. Uh, in the mornings, I'll get put on something good on the music and uh, on on the whatever channel I can get on on the uh, Amazon that has something great and energetic and positive. And uh, Jack and I dance around the living room. He likes to run around in circles and jump around. When I get excited and I start moving, he gets excited and starts moving with me. And it is, it is our a celebration in advance of our victory for that day. So when we create harmony in our minds and hearts, we will find it in our lives. The inner creates the outer always. Absolutely, this is the whole thing. You bring in, you bring in, you bring the weather with you. You bring in your own weather. All my relationships are harmonious. When we, when we create harmony in our minds and hearts, we will find it in our lives. The inner creates the outer, always. All my relationships are harmonious. Here we go. I am one with the power and wisdom of the universe. I claim this power. And it is easy for me to stand up for myself. I am totally adequate for all situations. I am one with the power and wisdom of the universe. I claim this power. And it is easy for me to stand up for myself. I am totally adequate for all situations. So there you go. It's going to be an inter interesting uh, weekend energy. Now we're going to start with, we've got our Three of Swords here, so there's a timing. Seven of Cups is the blessings in abundance, the dump truckload of blessings. This is where you have all your irons in the fire and everything starts going at the same time. The Seven of Wands is telling you to stand your ground, hang in there, don't give up, don't settle. Give the universe time to do its thing. The Seven of Swords Walk away from what no longer serves you. Don't try to carry all the things from your past and, and move into your future. We have to let some things go. This can mean walking away from a job that no longer serves you. Um, if you've got something good coming in in the meantime, that's wonderful. It also means purging what no longer serves you. So letting go of things that we have uh, stored in, a, in the house in boxes in the closet that we haven't seen for five years which I have recently experienced I have an entire closet that I completely cleared out and it's still empty <laughs> now we have the three of cups which is the celebration energy this is the universe tipping the cups in your favor helping to fill your cup so and then we have this beautiful timekeeper here with the three days three weeks three months third time is the charm so very strong energy of the threes we also have two sevens here or oh three sevens so we have two threes and three sevens I didn't even snap to that seven of cups seven of rods and seven of swords so there you go seven triple sevens baby that's a winner in Vegas <laughs> many blessings to you all may you have a triple seven weekend I'll see you again next week namaste